everyone welcome back to another video from somos biology in this lecture we are going to talk about top three reasons not to select biotechnology as a career option in india and those who are trying to write something in the comment section right after this sentence i must tell you is that i'm making a video series on both sides of the coin so i've already made a video on top three reasons to select biotechnology as your career option in india in 2025 watch both the videos then put the comments now starting with the very first reason and that is low initial salary and limited core job availability in India. So when you say core job, the job from exactly the field of biotechnology, that is the very first reason of not choosing biotechnology as a career option in India. The low initial salary. The low salary means how much low. If you compare your salary, it will be somewhere between 3 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. Yes, 3 to 5 lakh only per annum. And considering the expenses right now, students they have more expense in their graduation days compared to the what they are earning after even the graduation masters so yes that's a big concern okay and second thing is that the the, the core job availability is very low uh, there is a job availability in the r d portion okay r d research and development in biotech and biopharmaceuticals but they demand phd in most of the time or they demand uh, a proper experience genetics molecular biology are the places but but the seats are there very limited the job responsibilities are out there from the core subjects but the demand is limited here sales is there quality control is there quality analysis is there so qcqa job and sales jobs are there but sales is not directly linked with the subject that you've learned and that's a different set of skills uh, but sales offer the highest salary compared to the rest of them that's not although if you compare with the other countries like us uk uh, europe the other european countries and canada uh, the job uh, availability is huge and Indians particularly with the biotech degree are in huge demand there so people are flying into US uh, European countries day in day out and you can see that all around that this globalization is happening because they are living in India the reason is that that they are not getting what they actually deserve that's why they're living in India now the second big reason not to choose biotechnology as a career option is that expense it is expensive the, the education itself is expensive for biotechnology if you need to do graduation in zoology graduation in botany it will charge you less but graduation in biotechnology particularly btech will charge you more uh, but compared to the other BTECs where uh, the initial salary of the uh, of, of engineers are much much higher than yours after you graduate as a BTEC graduate BTEC in biotechnology. So yes, uh, they charge very high. So the, the investment in on education is high. But compared to that, the career growth is very slow. Means, you know, after just BSc in biotechnology or BTEC in biotechnology, you will hardly get a job without experience. You need MSc, Masters in biotechnology or MTech in biotechnology. Then you need... You need uh, again industrial exposure or sometimes you need PhD particularly for research and development position in biopharmaceuticals or pharmaceutical companies you need that without that you're not going to get a job so unlike the fields of IT and management the career growth in biotech is slower and uh, they demand experience and they demand research publications which will not come from day one so that's very very tough situation for BTEC freshers in biotechnology and private sectors R&D uh, funding in India is also very limited. Outside of India, there are uh, industries that are funding PhD of different candidates. Industry funded PhD is a very, very real deal. In India, it's increasing, but it's not up to the mark yet. Okay, so it's only you need to look uh, for the government to provide you fellowship in order to do your PhD and research. Industry invest very, very less. Uh, they have their own R&D uh, team and they, they, they use them to develop their products. Now the third uh, reason not to choose biotechnology as a career option in India in 2025 is that heavy interference of Indian government in biotech, right? Uh, and uh, this could lead to a good thing, but actually in India it's leading to a bad thing. The thing is that uh, biotech funding in India heavily depends on government because private uh, investors are not that attracted yet because the market is not open for them because if a market is something related to a thousand crore or two thousand crore still there are investors who are not interested investors gets interested when the market is bigger than five thousand crore ten thousand crore so you need to generate that market until you to generate that market a 100 crore 200 crore 500 crore business investors private investors angel investors will not dig into it so you need to rely on government grants subsidies and other foreign investments to do that so 
your research will be limited next is a regulatory thing uh, regulatory hurdles are out there ethical concerns in india are rising protesters are out there so the approvals for many things will come very very slow and there will be blockage to your innovation uh, for example like i can take gmo as an example people always protest like no gmo no gmo anti gmo they don't see the good things about the science the experiments obviously there will be good or bad but people always is there in india to protest against it and also in crispr based editing system still stem cell research is also being halted in many occasions due to regulatory uh, warnings so these are the problems and <clears throat> unlike the pharma or it uh, the biotech startups in india struggle to get funding now the biotech in india particularly the biopharma if you if you see the biocon except for biocon and singin there is hardly any of that company that go that big in india and even singin and biocon they are not doing good if you look at their uh, balance sheet uh, if you look at their share prices over the last uh, 10 years you are going to see the the impact is not very good it's not growing as at a pace that it should grow so it's going to give you an indication regarding the condition that we have right now in biotech in india so what is the final thought should you choose biotechnology as your career option in india now the answer to that before getting into that you must also know the top 3 reasons to choose biotechnology as a career option in india i already made a video on that please watch that video both the videos must be watched in order to take a informed decision but what i can tell you is that if you are looking for a fast growing career and right after graduation start to earn a decent salary and you want to stay in india then biotechnology is not a good option biotechnology is not a cup of tea biotechnology is good for those who are very passionate about doing research and willing to travel across the globe because opportunities outside of india and also uh, you won't get immediate uh, salary immediate good amount of a decent amount of salary if you want to stay in india it will take time the growth will be slow and you need to be accustomed with that so if you are joining here you should know that the global exposure is something that you should look for and in that case you should be prepared with and if you are prepared with global exposure if you are passionate researcher then biotechnology is the career for you and this is one of the best career right now in the field of life sciences because compared to the other options like zoology botany physiology uh biotechnology is providing a better option comparative better option in india okay so that's all regarding this video if you like this video please hit the like button if you don't like the video hit the dislike button let me know what do you think uh, about the biotechnology career in india in upcoming times for both the videos remember three reasons to choose biotechnology and three reasons not to choose biotechnology i have both the videos watch both the videos and then please comment thank you i'll see you in the next video bye